have my first uh, order of If you're like, uh, just about any of the opportunities to get a lot of there's some unfinished business, so I didn't want to start with uh, uh, going around the room. Actually, I got ahead of myself. I'm going to start on the welcome uh, the visiting Wiltarians and guests. So, start this side. So, uh, 
Uh, I wanted to move on to uh, first order of business, which is inducting our first member. So, uh, uh, so he's been coming to meetings as long as I have, or as long as I've been. Um, and uh, got a chance to get to know her in uh, a lot of community events, and she's so kind and warm and energetic and active that I'm um, so uh, glad I get the opportunity to bring her to the club. So, uh, yes, Lori, please, is the membership uh, club representative, and then Brian, uh, your sponsor. Uh, Lori will conduct her to the club. Thank you. Fellow Rotarians, it is my privilege and pleasure to conduct an induction ceremony to bring new members bring our new member, our newest member, into the club. Sophie Cecito was proposed for membership by Brian Reeser. Sophie's proposal has been reviewed by the membership committee in accordance with our club constitution and bylaws. Her name has been circulated and her application for membership has been approved. Rotary is defined as a volunteer organization of business and professional leaders united worldwide to provide humanitarian service and help build goodwill and peace. All members meet weekly. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> this seems kind of strange to go through yes. this for somebody who is so familiar with Rotary. Um, to meet weekly to plan service projects, discuss community and international issues, and enjoy fellowship. Clubs are non-religious, non-political, and open to every race, culture, and creed. Rotary encourages high ethical standards in all vocations while striving to live and work by the four-way test. Is it the truth? Yeah. We're going to get the four-way test in here, too. <laughs> Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? And will it be beneficial to all concerned? Sophie. We are now going to proceed to admit you into membership in the Rotary Club of Arcata Sunrise and to the friendship of Rotary throughout the world. It has already been explained to you that the ideal of Rotary is service. <laughs> know that? <laughs> <laughs> Our motto is service above self and the object of the club, and all Rotary clubs um, encourage and foster this ideal as a basis of worthy enterprise. You've been approved for membership in the club because we believe you to be a worthy representative of your vocation, are interested in the ideals of Rotary, and willing to do your share in translating these ideals into action. You've agreed to accept the obligations of membership in this club and to obey the club's constitution and bylaws. Now, I have the pleasure of asking your sponsor to pin on your membership pin, the emblem of the Rotary wheel, which we hope you will wear with pride, <laughs> Which we hope you will wear with pride being a Rotarian, but also with the humility of service. <laughs>
And um, along the way, I'm um, going to make some lifelong friends. And, and uh, this is the most recent uh, taste uh, photo that we're doing great things. And uh, I'm definitely enjoying my time doing it. So um, I feel so fortunate to be part of such an energetic, dynamic club that uh, it's too easy. So, uh, but thank you. Um, so uh, I want to offer a message from uh, Mark Baloney. I don't know if many of you know who that is. Probably our current um, RA president, Mr. Christine, Rotary Connects the World. Um, I'm actually enjoying that theme because of my international past that uh, I'm glad that I'm uh, getting the opportunity to do an international project this year. And uh, uh, I'm to look for opportunities to try to um, kind of connect uh, my Travels around the world and you know, there's a community here, and uh, uh, I'm looking, to have, uh, looking forward to having some, um, some fun this year. So, um, here's just a message from Mark and the uh, play here.
a lot of people, um, I guess when it comes to what we stand for, uh, um, I think there's been some, uh, I don't know, uh, I, I talked to Amy about joining the club and there's been, um, I guess, a perception of uh, how the club has been, but um, Rotary as itself has been evolving over time and um, some things to look forward to. I'm gonna, uh, uh, I think Rotary's doing its best to try to uh, kind of expand its reach um, over the years, it's going to be kind of membership, but they're, this this year I think they're looking to be creative with how they engage members and how they build membership. And uh, uh, something to look forward to is uh, uh, Andreas has offered to kind of share what he learned at Rotary International about kind of uh, the evolution of membership and some different kind of membership styles. Um, and uh, um, some of the things that, that I want to try to um, I guess offer a prelude to is that. Uh, um, I guess I'm just a, this club is so energetic and, ener um, and uh, involved in the community that uh, with the products, the products that we have planned this year and um, some fellowship opportunities, I look forward to um, leveraging um, our brand and, our, uh, and what we do in the community to uh, represent us in the, the community as a whole so that um, when people see uh, Rotary or, rec or hear about us, that we get, uh, get that recognition that we deserve because there's a lot that we um, do in this community. So, um, from Firesides, I think uh, honing in on our mission, uh, I, I thought I'd share this as Rotary International's mission, um, but uh, I think um, the mission that I'm, I'm trying to evolve into is that uh, I, I feel like uh, doing good things is um, Great for the heart, and uh, and um, the community really uh, uh, needs um, people like us who um, have the energy and the time to in invest in um, making good things happen. But at the same time, I love that we enjoy each other's company and have a good time while doing it. So that's gonna uh, be my theme throughout the years. That we're gonna look to do good things um, and have a fun, good time doing. It. Um, uh, there are some uh, common uh, goals that Rotary has, so I'm not sure uh, how uh, many of you have looked into Rotary National, but promoting peace, fighting disease, and uh, providing clean water and sanitation, saving mothers and children, supporting education, and growing local economies are um, the, the pillars of uh, what Rotary does. And so I'll look to, when we create projects throughout the year, identify how we relate to these pillars of Rotary just so that we can connect to the greater Rotary as a whole. Um, with the projects that we're doing in our community. Um, so uh, I, I wanted to come up with three specific themes that I wanted to um, uh, target during my year. So uh, I really enjoy a mentorship relationship. I think uh, through my job as a manager and uh, through uh, talking through uh, tough situations with friends, I think having that um, collaboration mentality and uh, being uh, a resource for someone uh, makes a big difference in someone's life, and so I'd love to see if we can uh, build on that and leverage our uh, professional expertise. There's so many amazing professionals in here that could uh, uh, really help uh, our community, the, the, the youth, or any particular individual who needs the assistance uh, growth in the community and uh, reach their goals. Um, in uh, building our brand, uh, there's some projects that I have in the works that um, I'm going to look to uh, ensure that uh, if Rotary is known for doing it, and uh, I think with the help of PR and um, and everybody else, uh, I put out uh, the new theme pins this year that um, we'll be able to proudly wear our, our Rotary brand so that uh, when we're out in the community, people see it. They ask us what that means, that we have uh, a lot of things to share with them so that we can let them know that we're out there. Uh, doing good things. And then I think finally, a lot, most importantly, is uh, connecting with each other and having some fellowship opportunities. So um, Firesides, I, um, uh, with uh, Vanessa's uh, gracious um, uh, offer that is hosting uh, a regular monthly uh, fellowship opportunity for not just our club, but for all Rotary uh, members so that we can get to know and connect with other clubs in our community and uh, share these ideas and, and celebrate each other. When's that happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go to that. Is it a slide for me? Is it fine? Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Um, 
um, club assembly, um, in my mind, was to introduce uh, the leadership and uh, uh, who you could go to for resources if you wanted to get more engaged with the club. So uh, I wanted to thank uh, our previous directors, so Terry Clark of Club Service. Is that 
um, when, when you are part of a uh, community, it, it doesn't all fall on one person. I think uh, I, I feel so fortunate. I say that so many, so much that like there's so many engaged um, club members in this club that it uh, uh, makes being a community chair easy. But um, uh, for uh, membership specifically, it'll help through the transition process and getting them uh, from uh, I guess to uh, the application process and then a, a perhaps a prospective member and then. Uh, this induction ceremony, and then you hand it off to the uh, mentorship committee, who then helps them through uh, the red to blue badge process. So, Bob, uh, thank you for uh, taking on uh, right, the inter of this uh, mentorship. Uh, can you share a little bit about what you're doing, uh, Obviously, we if you just are uh, trying to manage our our herd of new members and making sure that everybody uh, you know, knows what the club is about those kind of some of the past history um, things that we've done um, the, the relationship and the structure uh, with Rotary International and District Rotary it, it's complicated when people walk in and it all seems like fun or whatever but there's definite structure to that and so we just always want to make sure that uh, everybody's well grounded in, in their knowledge of what's going on yeah. there's a checklist of things that you need to do before you Get your official blue badge, and so uh, continue through that process sooner than later. Got to uh, ensure that you stay engaged and stay uh, and find your place in the <coughs> club. Um, the program committee, I think that's Howard or now Greg, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as co chair, uh, can you share a little bit about what you're doing here? Sure, and, and we have a number of members here Carol, Crystal, uh, uh, Karen. Um, and and Greg, we uh, both <laughs> off sounds in our names, but but uh, so and Howard is our chair. Howard is at uh, jazz camp in Louisville, where he's he's, made, he's actually really uh, uh, focusing on on jazz hands. So we'll have to get his back. But um, so we meet basically a, a couple times a year, and then we have a lot of emails. And our goal is to try to bring you know. Interesting, educational, thoughtful, sometimes just humorous and fun programs. And we do encourage everyone, if you have a program idea, just to come to one of our our uh, members and, and, and give us a suggestion. And um, uh, what we've done, we've already scheduled pretty much the first half of the year. Um, and then around towards, I don't know, we'll find me again in November or October, November, and kind of start looking at the second half of the year. So if you have ideas, uh, bring them to us. And, um, Good one. We'll, we'll uh, put them in. If they're not, uh, we will. Uh, we we won't. <laughs> so that's it's simple. <laughs> I made a, their uh, last meeting, and uh, there's a lot of fun program uh, ideas uh, planned for this first half of the year. Um, I do plan on putting them uh, on the tables here so that you can see uh, what what to look forward to uh, later on in the year. Kind of plan that out so if there's something that's kind of piques your interest, you get a chance to um, uh, put that on your calendar, make sure you make that meeting. Um, on the fellowship. Yes, fellowship. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yay. Yay. So we're the fun part of the, the club. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Of course we are. We plan all the fun. How's that? Okay, we plan the fun events. Um, so the opportunities to be able to come together outside of weekly club meetings. Uh, we put together uh, several of those opportunities throughout the year. Um, in gen we, there's some that are just sort of, okay, yes, this is going to be a general fellowship opportunity. Sometimes we partner up with other committees to be able to say there's a work day happening, and afterwards there'll be a social that, that we will help plan the social part of it. And then we are also responsible for planning the annual charter night celebration, which is our birthday celebration. That happens in February. And then finally, um, we looked for opportunities to get together uh, in, in a fellowship way that might be outside of um, the rotary confines, but there are social engagements that already happen within our, um, within our community. And if we show up as Rotarians, we help strengthen those organizations and we also strengthen our engagement within Rotary. So we call those RISE events, which stands for Rotary Involvement Strengthens Everyone. And the very first RISE event of this Rotary year is going to happen tomorrow. Yay, right? Um, there's a paddle event uh, that is uh, being put together by <coughs> Surfrider Humboldt. 
And I think it's a paddle across the bay over to the Samoa Social Club. And, um, and there's a party that follows there. So there are flyers that are on the tables. And uh, I know that Crystal is already planning to be there. What other details do I need to present, Crystal? If you call them, you can get um, free, I think it's like a 25 suggested donation for a paddleboard or a kayak if you're interested in that. And you can just, and you can do the paddle. A lot of people just go to the party. There's going to be a raffle, a fundraiser. Uh, this group is like the stewards of our oceans and they clean up our beach shorelines. So I think this would be a really great uh, organization to support for Rotary. And it's summertime and it's a, a chance to get out there. You don't have to have your own paddle board or kayak. So it's, it's, it's water paddle. Water paddle. Okay, yes.
cell phone um, and send me the picture and a description and uh, we can get it out there. And I could use one or two other people on our committee. Um, sometimes I can't get certain committees to take pictures, so when I find out where they're going, I show up and take the picture, so it's really easy, but um, sometimes I can't show up. So if, if any of you want to be on the PR committee, please let me know. What's your cell phone number? 707-498-7771. That's it. So if you want to check out the banner uh, that says Paul Harris Fellows on the way out, you'll see um, all but one member of the club, but you know, she just joined this morning, so <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. No, we're, so we're going to work on that. We'll continue with Final Friday, and the first one is July 26th. Howard sent out the, the list of um, donors and months. Um, if you have, if you would like to change your month, please let me know in advance. And otherwise, if you need ideas, talk to somebody whose gift you saw come across and it thrilled you, or you can talk to me. Thanks very much. I'm going to jump in on that. I'm going to say one other thing. I got my rotary. 
uh, dues bill yesterday, and I looked at it very closely, and one of the lines in there is, I think it's $25 for every Rotarian every year, optional. Please, please, please consider doing that. Every Rotarian every year is very helpful, as Terry will, uh, Terry will attest. And by the way, I walked up here, but, and Ray, I owe you an apology. I've got a lot of footage of the back of, backs of people's heads, and uh, I know, I know. But anyway, um, every Rotarian every year, and don't stop there. Yeah. Thank you. So, world community service. Yeah, we uh, we fund the world. Um, <laughs> uh, we're working on a big project this year. Uh, we're we're putting together a team to go to Guatemala and um, build a house for a homeless family, and it makes a huge difference in their lives because it actually raises them out of uh, the caste system, raises them out of the lowest low, and puts them in a place that they can live a better life. And so we're going to be doing that in February. We're um, going to put money toward it. We're working with other clubs, hopefully, to go with us. But if any of you want to go to Guatemala for a week and do that, um, let us know. We definitely want to get a team together to do that. So that's, and then we uh, will probably put some money toward a school in Pakistan again. And then depending on what our budget is, some other things that come up. So it's fun. Yes. Join us. We meet the first Tuesday of the month at 7.30 at um, the store. Thanks, Betty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, vocational Service Avenue, we have vocational development. And uh, Carol Crystal. Um, yeah, great question. What do we do? Uh, so vocational development, uh, we got to do the vocational award every year where we find somebody in our community that reflects the values of Rotary um, and contributes to our community and the greater good. But um, we also, because we're somewhat still fledgling, we're still developing our what we're doing, but we are definitely trying to do more mentorship, um, reaching out to other people at HSU or Northern Humboldt School Districts to figure out uh, mentorship opportunities for us. And then we also want to kind of incorporate things to develop ourselves as, as a group um, professionally and personally and learn more about who's in our club and what they do for professions because, you know, okay. mostly we just meet at seven and have a great time. <laughs> Thanks. Um,
um, so youth activities is actually an open um, uh, committee chair position. Um, but uh, uh, Rebecca, thank you very much for your, your service the past couple of years. But, um, <laughs> such a good job. <laughs> but uh, can you share a little bit about what that committee does? What you're trying to do? <laughs> I, I asked AJ to step down. I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed, and I was feeling a little bit like under, uh, like I wasn't doing enough. It was just this big guilt thing. Like Steve McCain would send me an email, like, "What's your committee doing?" I'm like, "Oh, I wasn't doing So um, I would love like a co-chair or somebody, like somebody to collaborate with. I felt like all alone. And like I never really got my community together, so um, if somebody's out there is excited about youth, I, I love the partners. I just felt overwhelmed and alone sometimes. Uh, but we, there's a couple big activities that we do. Um, we sponsor the fall cross country run. It'll be like the 10th or 11th year that we've helped do that. That event has grown from like about 100 kids the first year we did it to they get over 300 kids now. Um, so that's a real nice. Um, and, then, and we're looking for like other ideas. We, um, our club also does the dictionaries, which also kind of just sort of happens by itself. That hey, Brian, kids, he got you off the treasure and else took it over for you, didn't? Um, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have Sophie do everything. <laughs> um, um, you know, Andres has had some uh, unique ideas, so we're definitely open to some ideas. Um, it's definitely a fun committee if you're like being involved with kids. Sometimes you think just because, like, oh, I have kids, this would be a fun committee. Because, oh, wait, I have kids, that takes up a lot of my time with yeah. all their other activities. So, that's my summary. If anybody's interested, I'm an auto. Brian. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you maybe will like have a committee. That might be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a date or time here? I have to talk to Brian. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you, Rebecca. Um, competition <coughs> yeah. Uh, who uh, actually, uh, and Brian, but uh, Jeff recently did want to step down. I don't know if Jennifer's here. She uh, wanted to take on co chair. Uh, but essentially, um, the there's History Day, um, there are the scholarships for the Arcata High students at the end of the year, um, and actually in August we, we're going to have a little presentation from our History Day, I think, uh, scholarship recipients. Um, so uh, I think most of, the, most of the time I think is coordinating these particular events, and so uh, um, I feel like, and uh, someone can correct me because I'm not on that committee at all, but um, it's those two particular events is where your time is spent in the, the rest of the year. It's, uh, um, Interact and Rotaract. That's, uh, well, I am one of the co chairs of the Interact and Rotaract Committee. Uh, Nick works with Interact, which is our high school uh, program, and they meet during the school year on Fridays. If you want to be able to uh, work with them on Interact um, to mentor the interactors, like Nick will. I've been working with Rotaract and so we member of our committee, but uh, <laughs> we, we right, uh, right now with the new transition, we have a lot of Rotaractors aging out at North Bay Rotaract, so we'll be reaching out to them to see if they would like to join our club or another Rotary club that, that maybe suits where they live better. If you want to be our committee, let me know. We mainly have a monthly email to give updates um, that is provided by the Rotaract president, and um, then we'll have discussions. You actually can go to Rotaract Community, which is the first and third Wednesday of every month. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and you know, like they, they feed into Rotaract, um, which feeds into us. This year, Stan and I are trying to partner with Project Amigo to get the kids some international service. Um, they work really hard. This incoming senior group has been the most active section of our Rotaract, our Interact Club, since they were freshmen. So we're really excited about this year. We have co-presidents, we have a, a much, since we have so many people, they all have roles now, co-chairs and all that, so um, they're taking care of their school. And these are high school kids, right? And um, they are also our scholarship winners every year, they're our top 10% kids every year, these kids are our turners, so 
let's try to support them if you have time on a Friday at noon. Um, come, come to Arcata High and check them out. You'd have to go there too a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am going to look to also create events for all of us so I can uh, engage for perhaps this thing too. But, yeah. Uh, some outside of the uh, regular meetings, uh, opportunities to uh, get them. Yeah, sounds good. And so I guess this kind of ties the Rotary Connects the World theme all together, as most of our uh, committees do. But uh, we feel that in the Rotary Youth Exchange that that is exactly what we do. So I'm, I was excited when I saw this theme come up uh, because, as we all know, from meeting all the students ambassadors that have come to us and that we've sent out, and the experiences and connections they've made in the world, that's really exemplifying what Rotary can do in the world. So. Um, our committee is uh, Cam Appleton, who helps us with uh, vetting a lot, which helps. And uh, Nick is backing up just a little bit because he's already doing so much. And Tammy Camper is uh, filling in as the lead inbound uh, counselor. And Claire, Gina is looking forward to this fall when we can pick another outbound uh, ambassador for our club. And um, I do the uh, YEO function of our committee, meaning that I kind of keep everybody moving in the direction we're supposed to be. And then I've also served on the district uh, for many years. Uh, I'm officially done as of August 3rd when we debriefed the students have been out. Uh, and that'll end eight years of service at the district. And that has really, if you ever, any of you are interested in really opening up your eyes to the world of Rotary, serving at the district level like uh, Nick is gonna do and many others in the club have done uh, through the DG function. There's other district committee positions available and it really gives you a bigger window to the world of Rotary International and how you connect around the world so highly encourage you to do that. Uh, last thing we do have one opportunity for our club to participate in youth exchange. Um, the third family we had lined up had to uh, back out because they have a elder care issue they, they brought in their parents and uh, they just don't have the room anymore so I was thinking, since uh, Steve McKinney is not here this morning, Andreas and Jen uh, are both doing the first two slots, uh, if somehow we were able to have a third family also be from within our club, that would be one of the first. I think it would be really awesome for our students to have that continuous engagement with uh, the chairings in our club. So, well, the offer's out there. What's that? Well, second so move. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're at all interested in what that's all about, uh, contact me or anybody else and we'd be happy to talk to you about it. So, um, I'm uh, running out of time here, so I'll finish up with some quick announcements. We did have some June birthdays, um, so uh, I don't want to take too much time with that. The song, but we'll try to get there. Next, uh, um, next meeting. Um, and uh, the surf, uh, uh, surf Rider Humboldt Party Panel uh, um, event uh, tomorrow, so uh, come check that out. Um, did want to <laughs> say goodbye to Finn. Um, he was, was going to do a Western Safari presentation, but he uh, uh, couldn't make it. But um, he does have a uh, uh, goodbye party on the 15th at 6 p.m. at the Hempel House. Um, and then if you want to get up early at 5, you can see him off at the airport that uh, following Wednesday. Um, um, so, uh, here's the Rotary Park update. Uh, we're going to do a cleanup on the 21st from noon to 3. It'll be a quick cleanup and then a fellowship opportunity. Uh, so, a partnership between the Community Service uh, Committee and the Fellowship Committee. And uh, I've also invited the new club, so uh, we're going to just need a, maybe eight to ten bodies there. I don't know. Uh, I was asked to try to get a show of hands of uh, people who would be willing to come and clean up the park on the 21st. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think we'll get a, a sign up sheet because uh, possibly sign up sheet out here in just a moment. And then uh, our July board meeting is on the 23rd. So um, for, uh, um, you'll be there to share there. But uh, for anybody who wants to see what the board does, uh, you're all welcome to come check out uh, our board meeting. It's at Uncle May um, at 7 a.m. on uh, Tuesday the 23rd. And then, um, uh, our 
first fellowship uh, social at the Griffin is going to be August 19th. That will be the um, Makeup Mondays. Makeup Mondays, yeah. <laughs> AJ forgot a really important member of the leadership team. Um, it's the presidential sauce. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> So you have to wear those every time this. you do something like that. Raffle. Because I don't want to win. You have to be the first one to like take. I mean, it makes sense, right? So, uh, How much is it? $70. Woo! Yeah. Last order is 6895 Oh, you oh, were right in front of me, too. You were thinking that. I got six, eight, nine, nine, six. six. Oh. Yes. Ah. Oh, just yeah. Uh, oh, there's a lot of balls in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Sticky on the floor. Let me look at my calendar. Well, like, just check, like, just email me. Okay. Sorry. Otherwise, cool. <laughs> that says goodbye in any language. Bye, Finn. Wash my shirt. Thanks for a great year. <laughs> yes.
Okay.